Hey guys, well, it's been a while since I've done a video, about a week. Uh, I've just been overwhelmed with work. Um, here's the story on this. This is a Cat 304.5 mini excavator. Uh, belongs to the funeral home down in Mount Shasta. Um, it had, <laughs> it's got a lot of leaks on it, so obviously the blade cylinder was leaking. The blade cylinder actually goes down there. I actually stuck it here. So I could get, and I propped it up on these buckets because I, it was one of those that the end cap was not coming loose very easily. It was, it was tighter than shit actually. So I had to kind of improvise and prop it up to where I could, you know, get my pipe wrench on there. And, and, uh, I took a fence pounder here. This is a fence post pounder. I actually stuck that on there as a cheater pipe and, and broke it loose. But there's kind of a story behind this. I I had a, I think my biggest pipe wrench at the time, I had a bigger one, but I broke it years ago, and I never did replace it, and I got a big chain wrench, but the, the way, uh, I don't even know where that chain wrench is right now, but anyways, it wouldn't work on there either, uh, so I called around, called around, nobody had a pipe wrench big enough, the Harbor Freight had a 36 inch pipe wrench, but they really couldn't tell me how far it opened, you know, and I told the wife to run down there and grab it for me, and she came back, and it would barely go around it, but I just had like one thread left on it, you know, and I said, shit, I, that ain't going to hold, you know, I'm going to break that bastard, you know you're going to pull that thread right off there when you really pull on it, and so I knew that wasn't going to work, and so I actually called Heat and Steel, and they had, uh, what did I do with it? They had a rigid, and this is a rigid 36-inch pipe wrench. That's a Pittsburgh one. And, I mean, this thing is so much heavier built, this rigid is. Um, you don't see anything that says USA on it very often. But, uh, um, well, let's just look at it real quick here. The uh, This one only opens up to, like, just a little over 4 inches. This thing goes to like six inches or something like that. I mean, it goes out there quite a ways. Five. Well, I think you're supposed to go to five, but you're supposed to go to, but it'll go to five inches. And I think that's kind of where they want you, right there. You know, so you're have full contact on your nut back here but I mean this one here it only goes to like four I think or maybe yeah actually not even that it goes to three it goes to three inch so, I mean, there's a two inch difference on opening on the jaws. And I mean, you pick that one up, you pick that one up. Yeah, there's a there's quite a difference there, man. There definitely is a quality difference. <laughs> but no, I stuck that one on there and broke it right loose. The boom cylinder, I got it out. Uh, went over to the hydraulic shop. He didn't have all the seals I needed, so he's supposed to be in Monday. Um, I need, I still got to pull this one loose, but the way it was, I was going to wait till I got everything back together and I could lift it up. The, we got to do a bunch of work here. I mean, we got to do some, I don't have a line boring machine. I'm thinking about buying one to do this job, I think, because I mean, there's quite a few holes that need to be done here. Um, I think I could probably almost pay for the line boring machine in one job. Um, so uh anyway so before we even get into that hi baby how are you what's the matter you don't look like you're happy what's the matter um so i had to pull the cab and all the controls out of it to access if if any of you guys ever work on mini excavators it a big excavator is way easier to deal with than one of these things are these things are just they're everything's compact they're trying to shove you know, 20 pounds of shit in a five pound sack. Um, that's the moral of the story on these things. So they can be difficult to work on. Um, so what the deal was, it was leaking like a sieve underneath here and you couldn't even, I couldn't even tell where it was leaking because you can't even see it. 
uh, even through the access hole down here, I took this panel off, and I still couldn't see where in the hell it was exactly coming from. So I got it off, and, and I had to, I had an idea once I got it off. It was, uh, see these hoses here that they've connected these pipes to, and uh, return lines. And uh, so I, I, I wanted to make sure, because it's a lot of work to get to this point. So I thought, well, we, we need to make sure that's where it's leaking at. So I put all the pilot controls back on the joysticks and, and tightened them back up and kind of mocked up the right-hand console with the ignition switch back in it. And I got it started. And then sure as hell, it was just puking oil out of there. And I tightened up the clamps on it and it quit leaking. But I thought, you know, you got to do this much work to tear the whole damn thing down to get to it you might as well put some new hose on there so there's four of these that i can see right now there's two over here in this corner too i got to pull this these controls off right here so where i can get in there but um i'm going to change this one this one and there's two over here that i can see uh, i got some some uh, suction line here from the hydraulic shop we got to cut them to links here's some of the old stuff right here it's just really hard what happens these these things just get you know they just get hot and cold over the years and they shrink up and get brittle and then you, you know you can tighten the clamps up and they'll they'll last a while until they till they uh shrink up some more and eventually you know it's just one of those deals just 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 put a new chunk of hose on it and it it's just some rubber hose it ain't that big a deal so anyways um i'm gonna get my chops all down or I can cut those hoses uh, measure me off a chunk here and one for this one and we'll change these hoses out and start putting this thing back together okay so I got me one hose there cut I gotta pull my plugs out and there'll be oil coming out of that um, I kind of need to be hopefully this doesn't take too long I think what I needed to do is I took the hold down uh, clamp off on this one I'll put it on this one first and then try to work it on the other one. I kind of got this one hose in my way here a little bit. Well, here we go with the mess. Okay, that wasn't too bad. There we go. There we go. I got her. Okay. You got her, Josie. Nice. Nice new hose. Okay. One clamp. Okay, let me get me a screwdriver. I'm going to do the same thing with the other one over here. And then we'll have to pull them controls off of there. Just as tight as I can, hopefully not strip the clamps, but I wonder if I'd just get a, a ratchet, you know what?
most of these clamps I see that are like this are like 9 30 seconds. Yep, that's what this one is too. Okay, is that going to seal up? Sure hope so anyway, huh? Wonder if I had to start it again and with it like this and make sure it's not gonna because we it's it's metric hose and and we went with it some SA hose that was really close but it was just a touch bigger and he was pretty certain that it was going to seal up. I don't want to strip the clamps though either. I mean that hose is, I can't, I can't twist the hose by hand. So I'm thinking it'll be all right. So we'll go ahead and move these pilot controls out. I'm gonna leave them hooked up because I got a feeling I'm probably gonna wind up. Uh, I'm probably gonna wind up doing that same thing to the. Uh, well, once I do this, I want to probably just start it again. I'm just gonna make sure these don't leak. I don't want them to leak. You know, it's just too much work. You got to make a hundred percent sure that they ain't working. When you when you got to tear it this far down. They took this thing to Cat, you know, and I guess Cat here in town, they basically, he about did a backflip when he got the estimate on what it was going to take to fix it. And I told him it wasn't going to be cheap. I said, but I, I, I was honest with him. I said, I don't really know. I don't know what I'm getting into yet. I don't know what's leaking. And I said, I don't know what's leaking underneath the cab until I tear it apart and find out what it is. I have no idea. I can't see it. So it's really hard for me to give you a uh, a solid quote or estimate when I don't even know how far we got to go or what we got to do here. I know what I'll be a lot cheaper than cat. Yeah, look at the swing motor. I had to put a swing motor in one of the, uh, it wasn't a cat, it was a link belt, which is a case. And I had to put a swing motor in one here a couple years ago, and it was, it was a lot of work to get to that point, I'll tell you that. It was not easy. I'm gonna do a, get a bar or something and push on it or... trouble here so hang on a second oh i didn't see josie i was like where'd my puppy do that go she was over there by the fireplace my damn my damn uh, uh pump on my waist hole heater went out on me so golly we're making a mess here now She's not coming without a fight. Son of a gun. Ugh. 
Good grief. That son of a bitch ain't coming off. Uh, okay. I'm not fighting it. It's getting cut. It's going to get cut. Then I'm going to pull it off. This stuff doesn't have any steel braiding in it, but that stuff I'm putting on does. I kind of wanted something without steel braiding, but that's all he had, so. Okay, let's go cut, cut another chunk of hose off. I got Josie girl. I got baby. This one looks like it might be a touch longer than that other one, huh? Yeah, pretty much the same. this out. Okay, hose number two. Alright, so kind of need to make this quick. I just sprayed a little WD-40 in the ID of the hose so it would maybe slide on there a little bit easier. I don't think I'm going to have too much trouble getting it slid on there anyways. It's just a touch bigger. Okay, so we got that one. We'll kind of just <sighs> trying to find my tools here. Damn it. Got a burr or something on that that don't want to go on there. Okay. Here we go. Oil going everywhere. Kind of a tight fit on the end of that son of a bitch, you know what? Damn it, I wish I had a plug just a touch bigger to go on there. I wonder if I can maybe... I can't get it to really do what I want it to do here. This hose, I should have just pulled this hose off out of my fucking way. having a hell of a time. Let me stick something in there and plug the hole off. It's just puking oil everywhere. Making a freaking mess everywhere. Ah. Jesus. I'm pulling this hose off. I'm tired of fighting it. That's why I don't like them. If I can deal with that hose without a wire in it, that's what I'd rather do because that's always what happens. A burr sticks out like that and it fillets your hand open. Okay, let's put this one back on. Stupid burr. Ah. 
hose. Still kind of screwing with me a little bit, isn't it? Operating bastard. That feels pretty damn good. stripped on me yep I pull it back off put another clamp on there I'll just have to wrap one around it and get it to tighten up because I'm not gonna pull the hose back off that's the dangers of doing it with a ratchet you can strip them and these are aluminum clamps they're kind of shit junk anyway but I've got some stainless clamps over there that are way better than this anyway Junk. There should be a little bit better clamp here. And it takes a 5 16 socket. This is going to be a tricky deal sometimes trying to get a clamp back on like this. Damn, I'm all fingers today. Let me get a socket. <clears throat> Have to not uh, muscle this one down too much and strip it too. Just make sure I can't twist the hose. Make sure it stays tight. Okay. Tighten that up. I wonder, should 
I go over there maybe like that, kind of the way it was. Now I can't get on it. Okay. Alright, so now I gotta blow these Allen heads out and we'll pop these controls off of here. We'll get down here in the corner because I think I mean they got this covering that up, but I remember seeing a rubber hose that's leaking and I think it's this one right here actually with the hose clamp on it. And uh, that's all that was really leaking that I could see was all these hoses that they got on there. I guess while I'm here, before I forget, I can put the hold down clamp back on this line assembly here. Okay, so let me uh, get to that. I'll have to blow these out. Hopefully my seals come in Monday and I can get this together. And uh, get this thing back out the door. Where's the others at? So they don't have Allen heads over here. Well, there is one under here so I gotta pull this shit off so I can get to that one I guess I wonder if I can get the two loose on that side just kind of I don't know we'll see all right so I got those controls out of the way and you can tell that this one's been leaking down well you know it's kind of it's pretty greasy looking too is it leaking around the fitting um we're gonna have to pull that one loose anyway to get to that one. Let me get a what is that like? Uh, it's gotta be right around one inch, inch and a sixteenth, something of that nature. kind of oily but uh, I think the majority of it's coming from this hose here I really do so I hope anyway I guess let me put a there's oil coming out of that or cap that this other hose fix on here we'll go back together with this thing or a hold down or anything on this one that's gonna keep me from being able to move anything here I don't know yeah I think 
Yeah, there's two bolts here. I think they're welded to that little brace. We'll have to take those loose. I had a 6415 John Deere I was messing around with there too. I went out there and it was a no start. They were trying to get their tractors ready to go before spring and I didn't get the, you know, I they lost their mechanics. I guess they quit there. And, uh, anyway. Went over there and it didn't sound right when it was cranking and the starter was dragging really bad. So I got another starter for it and I came back again. Then went the new starter in there, it really spun over, you know, and I thought, huh, that's kind of spinning over a little too fast. And it don't sound right when it was cranking either, you know. And so, due diligence, I thought, well, let's hook the laptop up to the data link connector. Well, I had. I had a ground on pin A and I had, oh, uh, can high, can low. I didn't have any can high, can low. Well, tech can terminator resistors, all that good shit. Found that, uh, had those, you know, those John Deere's have a power on the ground screening voltage going to the can high, can low network and didn't have any screening voltage for 12 volt power. Well, I finally figured out there was a fuse blown in the fuse panel <laughs> and I fixed that and then I had screening voltage and I finally communicated and I cranked on it and I couldn't it was smoking and it was really trying to start but it just wouldn't fire and so finally I uh, come to the conclusion after I pulled the fill cap off where you pour the oil in the oil in and was cranking on it a little bit and and uh, it uh, was blowing more smoke out the uh, the fill plug than it was out of the smokestack, so I have a low compression situation going on there, basically. So not enough compression to make it start. So I called those guys and told them that it needs an engine rebuilt. Those 6415s were pretty good old tractors, really. I mean, they were real simple. They were real... Everything was mechanical. It had mechanical SCVs on it. It had uh, yeah, a lot of stuff like that was really good about those tractors. Okay, so... I don't know if I should just cut the same length that I've been cutting on the rest of them. It kind of looks like it's the same situation. Well, I got one of the old hoses over here. Yeah, it's pretty much the same thing as what it is. I'd be glad to go back together with this thing, get these hoses fixed, and that'll take care of these leaks pretty much. A lot of work to get there. I think that's why they probably flipped over backwards when they heard the quote, the uh, quote for the price from Cat. I told the guy, I'm, I says, I don't, I'm not doing a quote. I says, I've, I don't know how long it's gonna take. I can't see the leak. I don't, I can't tell you, I can't tell you what you got till I'm, till I'm there. I don't know. That's why for some things like this, I don't, I don't do quotes. How the hell do you know what the hell to charge when you don't, even, you can't even, you don't even know what the problem is with the leak or anything, you know? That's my whole thing. Okay. Got a plug in there. Of course, they've changed things around, and that's not the same as the other one was. It's got to be different every freaking time. Never can be the same, you know? Um, I'm going to 
find something, I guess. Uh, damn it, I need to find something to plug it with. Uh. That'll get us by right there. Okay. Okay, let's get our hose clamps on there. If I can remember what the hell I did with the old hose that had the hose clamps on it. Uh, okay, here we are. And this wall thickness on this hose is a little bit thicker, so, because it has a wire in it, where the other one did not. Okay, here we go. Pop that one off. Guess we can do one at a time. And this one's not as quite as flexible as that other one was. So actually, you know what? Why don't I tighten this one up? These aluminum clamps, I don't know, sometimes I don't really care for these too much, but... Pretty good right there. Now let's see if we can sling this other one on there. Should be fun. Ow! Ah! I've been cramping up, man. Bad am I? Let me show you where it's cramping up. Right in here, cramps like a bastard. I've been drinking water and. I take multivitamins, I do all that shit. I don't know why that bastard keeps cramping up. It's right there on the same spot every time. Hurts like a son of a bitch, man. I'm telling you, it fucking hurts. Ah. I mean, it's just, it pulls on it, it just, boy, you can't hardly get your arm back out where it needs to be because it's hurting and cramping so damn bad on you. So we got that hose on there and got it all cinched up. I guess all we can really do is uh, we'll put this one back on there and I'll probably put that ignition back in it and just start it. Make sure they're not going to leak. God, you hate to do all this work and then those things leak on you. Oh, winded bastard, huh? Okay. 
Okay. Well, I guess. I guess we'll uh, put the ignition in it and start the damn thing. Oh, you gotta kind of have to half-ass set that fuse panel assembly on there too to do that. So there's no easy way about any of this stuff on this thing. Guys, right, let me get the uh, let me get this little. I don't know. It's kind of the seat bracket assembly, seat support. We kind of need that because. Ah. The rocker switch that turns the hydraulics on, if it's in the on position, it won't even start. So I think it has to have a closed circuit or something to make it start. So I just kind of threw this thing over here, and then I don't really want that anywhere near that joystick, to be honest with you. So what you gotta do here is kinda half-ass plug all this stuff in. So you can start it. You just gotta make damn sure that your joysticks are not nothing's rocking your joystick over or you're you could have a huge problem standing here like this. It would not be good. have to have this one plugged in or have to bend this over a little bit so I can get it plugged in. Okay, so this one here, what is this one here? This plugs in to that thing over there, which we really don't need. So let me get the right hand console here with the ignition switch. which would be this conglomeration of shit here. And then we have the ignition. And that one there, I know what that plugs into. Don't really need that for now. Oh, yeah. So, I need to cap that, I guess, huh? What is that? That's going to a cylinder or something there. Which, why does that have oil going to it? It shouldn't even have any oil going to it, should it? I got this hose off of the cylinder. The joysticks aren't bumped on it or nothing, so why is there... Why is there that much oil going to that cylinder? This one rocked over. Hey, hang on a second. Golly. No, that one's not. That one's in in the neutral position, so why is that doing that? Alright, well. That would be the main boom cylinder. And all right, let's see what happens now. Must be the valve body must be leaking by or something in a little bit. Okay, so where's that rocker switch those guys had jerry rigged? Something's touching somewhere. anything leaking 
so I think we'll I think we'll go back together with it all right guys I'm gonna go back together with this thing <laughs> 